Hey, what's up YouTube? Today I want to talk to you guys about wiring that you will see in mobile homes that you probably won't see in homes. <clears throat> Maybe older homes possibly. But um, it is very confusing if you're not sure what you're looking at. So let me go ahead and show you this. Now right now, somebody's sitting there, you're sitting in your chair saying, Wow, man, you've just created a dead short. As soon as you flip this switch, it's going to flip, flip the breaker. It's supposed to be a black on top, black on bottom. Well, normally you'd, I'd say you were right. But in mobile homes, this is how they operate the switching. Let me show you how this works. So we come over here to our light. Okay. All right. This bundle right here, this is the main power running through the ceiling okay most of your uh, stuff is junctioned up in the light boxes okay you notice they're all blacks except for one white there's a white in that bundle of black all right so the white comes down here to the switch right here and this is your hot okay then we got the other side which is the black coming up over here and feeding your hot on your light just like normal so instead of having to run the power all the way down to the junction box to the switch box and then tying your neutrals together and running a hot back up here to turn the light on all they're doing is they're running one piece of Romex to the switch and they're taking the neutral side and using it as the hot and of course you leave the hot as the hot. Now let me go ahead and show you what normal wiring looks like or what everybody else might be used to. Now this is what you would normally see inside of a light switch. Okay, you got your power coming in which is tied into the bottom of the switch and then you got your out going to your light or your ceiling fan or whatever it may be and then you got your neutrals tied together of course this is coming over here to this ceiling fan and you can see it right here you know here's our hots tied with the motor wire and the light wire and then our neutral so I'm actually having to rewire this trailer because um, they had this switch wired up like that switch over there and they had the neutral and the hots. They had both hots down here, they had both neutrals up here and naturally as soon as you flip the breaker you've got a dead short. So. That is all throughout this older trailer, and I'm having to go through and through and fix it all because hey, the people people have never seen it before. So basically, what this does is it moves the junction of your power feed out from the switch box and puts it in your light box. Is basically all you're doing. Um, cuts down on wiring costs you can just run all your wires well they just ran their wires up here and all the power stays up here you don't have to dip it down into the walls and go over the doors and all that stuff you just run it straight through the ceiling so if you're in a mobile home and you're trying to do your own wiring you better be careful because you're gonna open this up and you're gonna look and you're gonna say hey wait a minute why is there a neutral wire hooked in with that those bundle of hots right there? You're going to say, well, that's, an, that's a problem. Then, well, really, it's not. Same thing if somebody was to, say, rewire these switches. I would say somebody would be inclined to hook the grounds together and hook the neutrals together and then put each one of these hots on one switch and that would just create a whole bunch of problems because like I said this switch controls 
that kitchen light, okay, but this switch controls there's an outside light on the other side of this wall. So if you were to tie, these are actually your lives right here, your hots is the neutral, it's, it's reversed. Um, really there should probably be some black tape wrapped around there to let an electrician know that that wire is actually live. But anyways, that's what it is. Just wanna let you know that if you're seeing this, don't flip out and think that somebody's done spaghetti your wiring in your house. It's actually the way it's supposed to be in these older mobile homes. So, all right, I hope I taught you something and uh, you know, don't touch that wire. You know, people think, oh, you can touch neutrals, they're not gonna hurt you. Well, that's not actually a neutral. So, uh, keep that in mind. Alrighty.